hello welcome to crochet rockstar video in this video i would like to show you how to join blocks or uh, pentagons or any uh, granny square blocks uh, using the stitch like this one uh, we do not know what the name of this stitch yet and i search around on the internet and i can't found any reference to this type of stitch um, but uh, a friend on facebook suggested that we could we should we could call it raise um zipper stitch uh, because this look like a zip but it's not exactly like a zip also it's more like a, a interlocking stitch between this um between this block and the other one and so maybe i don't know what we should call it maybe um maybe we can call it interlocking stitch or maybe we can call it football stitch just like because this maybe look like uh, the stitch that they did in uh, they do on uh, football okay let's begin first of all you have two blocks this one i have two pentagons here this one and the other pentagon okay and i pick up a contrasting color of yarn i'm choosing blue here so i can i can show you clearly the how the stitch is uh, working i always leave a tail whenever i start crocheting because uh, this is very useful when you finish to sew it in the ends again uh, after you finish your project and this is how I tie my knot. You can do several way. You can do like that, tying a knot, usual way like this. And the way I always do is this is how I tie my knot because I get used to do this so often, and I found this way is for me is faster rather than using my own finger okay now right side facing both of them are right side make a standing single crochet to any corner of your of your block your crochet block you can learn this standing single crochet from Mowgli's website. I learned it from her, from Tamara. Standing single crochet. And you, and then pick up your other block that you wanted to join together. Insert hook into the corner, any corner of your pentagon. In here, in this case, I'm using pentagon because the balls that um, the ball that I was um, designing is in uh, using pentagon. So one, two, three. There are three uh, double crochet in the corner. So I go into the second one here, the middle one, from top to bottom. And from here, insert hook into the next stitch on your first pentagon. Now, as you can see, I have two loops and I have chain, one chain from the opposite block in between, yarn over and then pull all the way through and continue until the end insert hook my position is a bit difficult to crochet tight but if you are uh, crochet normally you can do this pretty pretty much easier than how i'm doing it here and i usually crochet I like um, holding a pencil so this is a little bit awkward for me to crochet like this but I hope you can um, understand what I'm trying to show you
let me continue until we reach the corner because I need to show you how to go back to this end to this end again later because in some in some uh, cases when you are making the wall you have to do that because that's the only way uh, so that you don't have to cut your yarn and you don't have to have so much um, ends to sew in later on okay we are almost there one more this is the last one okay now you reach the end of your corner and you already have when you are making the ball make sure that you, your number of stitches are 10 on each side of the um, of the pentagon so check on that uh, now how to go back elongate the loop do I pronounce it well elongate pull the loop and turn your work so that the wrong side is facing you I'm a right handed so I turn it this way to my right hand side and now what you do make a slip stitch you're gonna slip stitch all the way from here to here now this way of slip stitching is probably probably a bit similar to uh, zip zip stitch but in here you slip stitch on the single crochet on the blue thread that you on the blue joining not on the yellow not on the red fabric not on the uh, fabric that you are joining only on the single crochet so insert hook pull up the loop you could single crochet this or uh, sorry you could slip stitch this and if you are not comfortable making slip stitch you can also single crochet it as long as you remember if you are making slip stitch do not pull too tight because your your work will become too uh, stretch over stretch and the ball won't uh, won't look even when you are I always insert it in the wrong place. 